Hey, you playa, have you ever been blocked online by someone that you like without any reason at all? One day you're talking to them and then the next, boom, their profile is just gone and you don't really know why. Honestly, it sucks and you don't really know what happened. So you type their username in again, but nothing comes up. Now you're starting to feel that pressure on your chest. You've been blocked and you don't really know why. This is the part where a lot of people tend to freak out and ask themselves one of three questions. Did I do something to creep them out in any way? Are they just trying to hide their profile or prevent me from seeing something? Or is there something just wrong with me? Just so you know, it's totally normal to ask those questions. Getting blocked by someone is something that tends to catch you off guard. You're not given any heads up or any actual reason as to why it happened, so you're left scrambling to figure it out for yourself. After you get over that initial shock, try to retrace your steps. Think back to the conversations that you had with them. Did you say something trying to come off kind of flirty, but it actually came off kind of weird and awkward? Did you do something like like one of their old photos at a random time of night that kind of set off a trigger for them that, man, you might be stalking their profile? Your comments and DMs probably weren't intended to rub them the wrong way, and your actions might have just been something accidental, but you're still left where you are. Without an actual reason given by them, you're grasping at straws trying to figure things out. That's not the best way to approach this. There's generally three paths you can take when you've been blocked by someone online, with the first one being to ask them directly. Mind you, this is an incredibly controversial path to take. Asking someone straight up, why'd you block me? They're probably gonna dance around it, give you some made up reason and answer that's not gonna leave you satisfied. So you're better off probably not directly asking them. The second path is to talk to a mutual friend, someone that knows the both of you and that can give you a little bit more insight into what's going on in their mind. Asking them what that person might have against you might lead to an honest and harsh answer, but you're probably gonna find what you're looking for. And if that isn't an option, you're kind of just left with the third path, which is to deal with it, to figure out how to process your emotions and your feelings about being blocked on your own. Realistically, this is the path that you and most people are gonna have to take. You just don't have enough to work with, enough of an answer to go off of, so you know what to work on for next time. Instead, you have to change your perspective on things. It's the only way you're gonna succeed. If you feel like you've done nothing wrong that sufficiently warrants a good reason for them blocking you, then you have to recognize that they are carrying a wrong perception of you. They view you in a certain way. They think of you as someone who might be weird or creepy or whatever it is that they've conjured up in their minds. It's just not accurate to who you are. Recognizing that their wrongful perception of you is completely out of your hands leaves you with only one definitive path to take and that is to demonstrate your true essence and character, the true nature of who you actually are. Whether that's in person with them while you're in school, at work, or out with a group of friends, allow them to see that you're actually a pretty chill person. You get along with everyone so easily, there's no reason for them to be weirded out by you at all. Or if it's only someone that you talk to online, allow them to see you in the comments of other people's posts and interacting with other people. Remember, the vibe you wanna give off is that you're just a normal person. There's no reason for them to block you if they see that there's nothing to worry about. Now you might be in a situation where they've blocked you across all the platforms and cut communication entirely. Or maybe they just blocked you on that one platform that you used to interact with them on and view their profile. If that's the situation and you have no way to actually communicate with them, you have to accept the L. Recognize that there's someone out there that just doesn't like you. It's a sucky feeling to go through, and the best thing you can do is to just recognize that that's where you are. What I will say is this. Yes, you might feel hurt, offended, or angry right now, but don't go out of your way to be petty or rude or spiteful. Don't harass them. Don't create fake profiles just to mess with them. Recognize that there's someone out there that just doesn't want to accept you online. You've been blocked. It's an uncomfortable feeling to have, but sometimes sitting with that discomfort allows us to process it, allows us to actually become stronger because we recognize that there are people out there that will not like us, and that's okay. You don't have to win everyone's approval. Remember, they're carrying a wrong perception of you. You know you have what it takes to be somebody great. So focus on the people that can recognize that too. Now what I want you to do is to check out the video over there on the side, where I'm gonna talk more about how to deal with being blocked, how to ask that person why they blocked you, how to have the uncomfortable conversation if it's something you want to do. Check out that video and I'll catch you next time. As always, love and peace.